Hey, whenever y'all be hitting me up, people, people hit me up all the time. Be like, yo, what's a good company to start out with? Okay, we got Schneider, Stevens Transport, USA Truck, Extra Lease. Y'all see the black pipes right there. Y'all know who that is. That right there is a CT Transport. Let's see who else we got over here. And then I'm gonna hit the road. Celadon, US Express. Hey man, I, I don't know. I don't know the history of all these companies, but hey, you got all these damn companies. You have to do your research on to figure out what's best for you. And then of course, who do we have here? Mr. PNS. So yeah, flatbed gang right here. With all these other companies, I don't know too much about them. But they, they have two more words more important than flatbed. You know what those two words are? Paycheck. So it's all in what you want to do. Figure out what's best for you. Flatbed game. Another day, another dollar. Currently down here, Matthews, North Carolina. That's what the GPS says, but Charlotte area. 15 miles till I get to my receiver. Looks like they having a slight accident up here. So we ran into a little bit of delay. But uh, we should be there within about 22 minutes, give or take. Y'all see that right there? 
got a fence over there. It says stop. Yeah, that ain't the right place. Since I pulled up in this little distribution center, now I see where I'm at. It's right there. Hey, see how that GPS will mess you up? Hey, some, some, somebody might put a turn down that little small street. Hey, I'm smarter than that. So this is the place right here. Wonder how we're gonna turn this thing around. Luckily, we got Amigo on a forklift. One thing I learned in trucking, not even necessarily trucking. One thing in life I've learned about warehouse and manufacturing jobs. If you can't trust nobody else, you can always trust the Migos. Moment of silence for the El Paso victims. Let's get out and see what's going on. Hey, one thing I learned about this black, black cast iron pipe. Like, you see right there, the strap is already loose. It's already loose right there. But, you see how tight they are? I've already un un unloosened the winch. But man, I got some of them off. Yeah, the straps stick to this black pipe. You gotta break it every time. Well, not every time, but sometimes. Whew. I think it's the paint on the straps. Yeah, I think it's the paint. Yeah. Yeah, y'all didn't know that, did you? Yeah, that paint fucking locks these straps up. Yeah, sometimes if you uh, use your winch, well not your winch, but your breaker bar, you can push it up and break it. But sometimes you gotta climb up there. Just a little tip for y'all, new drivers. Yeah, TD, shout out my dog TD the Great. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, as soon as I pulled up to this place, as soon as I pulled up, I got, I got another, I got, well, I already knew where I was going anyway, but it's going to be something different. Instead of going to Queens, Plastic tubing in those bags, if y'all didn't know. Yeah, instead of going to Queens, we're going to the Bronx. Whew, let's get these straps rolled up. Straps are rolled up. Waiting on this guy to finish unloading me. 
since we were talking about some college football yesterday, I happened to find this in my drawer last night. When I first bought this headband, my buddy, I, I bought it and went to the gym. My buddy would call me Baker Mayfield. He said, all right, Baker Mayfield. Hey, I told y'all, man. Hey, I'm a little out of shape right now. A little out of shape. Where you want me to pull that? You want me to pull? Alright. Yeah, right. Yeah, Alright. Oh, LTL truck back there. Hey, one thing I know about LTL drivers, hey, them guys, they know how to back up pretty good. Hey, them guys, they can whip in gas stations, grocery stores. Yeah, he blind. Hey, dude, he said the dude gonna blindside. I see him on the passenger mirror. Back there blindsiding. I already moved one time for one truck. This little area they got right here is is really kind of it's real tight. Like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to have to actually I ain't gonna say blindside, but I gotta back up down a hill and back up to the same dock that the LTL trucks are using in order to turn around. Yeah, I've already peeped it out. That ain't nothing to me. Anyway, like I was saying, you know. I was about I was about 30 pounds lighter. Did a little working out. Hey, I can play some college football, man. It's all about willpower. Since we talked about this yesterday, I might I might come play for Alabama. I might could play for uh, let's let's see let's think of one. Samson Community College. <laughs> oh, Community College. Yeah, I already got my load, man. But. It's, it's going to New York, but it's not going to Queens. It's not going to the same spot that I usually go to. It's going to the Bronx. I actually talked to another PNS driver last week. Uh, we was dropping off the same load of pipe. We were dropping it off in Durham. And he was telling me that uh, he, he just did the Bronx load. He said the Bronx. He said it was easy. He said they unload you, too. He don't. He said it ain't no dropping hook. He said they unload you. So we're about to find out. My DM also told me not to be late. She also told me that even though I'm never late, but she told me don't be late because another driver was running late or something. And she said they were making a big deal out of it. So, but I don't plan on being late. I usually, what I usually do is, is pick the load up and take it home with me and leave out early in the morning. That's what I usually do. But since I don't want to take the chance of being late, if I got enough hours, once I get past the point for me to go home, I'm gonna just keep going because uh, most of the time I can go, I can go pick it up and run by the house, and I probably still got like three or four hours left on my clock, and that's enough time for me to actually run all the way up to the Virginia border and shut down right there, right at the border, because you got the loves, you got a pilot, you got two pilots. Also, uh, PNS's yard is in, in Portia. It's right there too. I mean, so I, I can usually push it up 95, but I always stop. But today, I think if if I get if I get past my, the point where I'm at my house and I ain't got but 30 minutes left, you know, I ain't got no choice but to stop. But if I got the hours to run, I'm gonna go ahead and run. Cause the last time I got up there to New York, I had 22 minutes left on my clock on drive time. Last time I went up there. So we about to find out today. Let's see, how, see how much time I got. Seven hours, 34 minutes of drive time. Nine hours, 10 minutes, 14 hour clock. So it's really, man, it's really up to this guy. I got like an hour, hour and 36 minutes to dead head to Columbia. So if this guy can hurry up and unload me, he ain't, he ain't even got, he ain't even a quarter of the way finished. He only took off two rows. The first row he took off, he actually dropped it on the ground. And he actually tried to pick up one of those pieces of pipe and put it back on the forklift. He tried to, I already knew that wasn't gonna work. I was like, yeah, that ain't gonna work, man. So I think he put some chains on the forklift and picked it up. That, but that took him like 20 minutes just to do that. So we'll find out soon enough. Made it to Columbia. About an hour and a half dead head. 
American Italian way. That's the name of the street. The name of this place, I forgot. I think it's Spiral Wheel. I think that's the name of it. Approaching destination in a quarter mile on the left side. Left side. You have arrived at your destination on the left side. Right. 3061 American Italian Way. GPS said I've, I've arrived. I haven't arrived yet. I gotta go keep going straight, go around this curve. It's the last business on this on the street. That's why that's why a lot of times when I get close to a ship or a receiver, I might I might run the Google Maps at the same time. But that, that truck GPS, it'll put you in the area, but it won't. It won't pinpoint you. No parking overnight. Yeah, we're gonna hit the road. We ain't worried about parking here. Let me go check in real quick. Now, uh, basically, what they're gonna tell me if I'm picking up a drop trailer or if it's a live load. And I see one sitting right there on the left, so that's probably mine right there. I'm about to, I'm about to find out. Forgot about that speed bump right there. My load ain't quite ready. They said it's almost, they said they got one more piece to put on it. It's almost ready. So right now I just gotta drop my trailer. Hey Shannon, Shannon, if you watch this one, if you watching this video, this one is for you, buddy. My dog Shannon hit me up. Said he couldn't figure out how to offset. I ain't doing the offset. I'm just doing a 90. Remember what I told you? Out of sight, turn right. Out of sight, turn right. Sneak in. I decided to turn right, buddy. Maybe one day, I, maybe one day I might set a camera down somewhere and record myself backing up. Maybe one day. <sighs> Let me go drop this trailer real quick. You heard that trailer brake pop? Cause I have made a mistake. <laughs> Pulling that trailer line out. What the hell? Man, my damn signal light won't cut off. Yeah, I had made the mistake of uh, unhooking the trailer line from the trailer without setting the trailer brake. I'm pretty sure I'm not the first one to do that. What's going on, man? I was supposed to be waiting on a guy to come tell me where to get the load at. Nobody never came. But since I already know where to go, I'm going to just head back here and find out. Shelton Trucking. PNS on them. Looks like it. Hey, you know, you know how I can tell if PNS owns a company? I mean, right? I'm going to tell you how I tell. If you ever see a PNS truck, only got one mirror on the on the hood. 
and that's just on the right side, on the passenger side. You don't never see him on the driver's side. He only had one arm. Uh, he only had one. So I guess that was a PNS driver. About to find out my trailer back here. It's a PNS trailer right over there. About to find out. Definitely a PNS trailer. I'm assuming that's mine's right there. The lady said they had to put one more piece on it, so I'm assuming that's it. I see somebody pointing at me. Guess we'll find out shortly. See, I already took most of the straps. I already had them out because I had to wait to get loaded. I pulled up. Yeah, once I, they had to put that last piece up there. So while I was waiting, I went ahead and got my straps ready. So all I gotta do is toss them. Toss them, tighten them up, and we out of here. Guess what? I've been sitting here two hours. I only got, I think I got like, right now I got like three hours. Three hours, 56 minutes as of right now. If I would have known I was gonna be sitting here that, that long, then I would have got the fuel before I came, but I was trying to hurry up and get here. Down. 
torn the easiest load you can get or you just gotta throw straps. That was already tight. That's on that bottom layer. I'm gonna slide that one over one more, one more notch. That's the one. That's the one right there. That's too short. That was tight. Yeah, we're about to get up out of here. Cause we're going right back to the house tonight. I ain't got no choice. It wasn't part of the plan, but that's how it's gonna go down tonight. I will be back at the house. Slide that one over one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. The fifth and the fourth one. The fifth and the fourth. Fourth and the fifth. Yep. A little twist in it. I like to look up under the load and line my straps up. The ones on the other side. That's how I do it. One, two, three, four, five. The fourth and the fifth. What I just seen. Yo, I left my cheetah bar. I left it sitting right here when I tighten up my straps. And it's been sitting outside for like two hours in the damn sun. I picked it up without putting gloves on. That motherfucker burnt the hell out of me. That's why I dropped it on the ground right there in that shade. I picked it up. That motherfucker burnt me like hell. Almost finished, baby. We almost finished. <laughs> Last one. Only thing I got left to do now, put some bungees on these straps. So I got two right there, so I guess I need four bungees. I don't got none in here. So I gotta take them from down here or from up here. Four bunch is all we need.
Y'all remember that Memorial Day video I made where I was trying to take four bungees down and ended up dropping the whole damn bundle. That's two. That's three. That's four right there. We ain't gotta take the whole damn thing down. Two on this side, two on the other. Did this one time before and got it so tight on this side that I ended up like right now. I gotta be careful not to pull it all the way through. So I'm just pulling it just a little bit. I did that one time before, pulled it all the way through. Oh yeah, we good, baby. Yeah, we good. I've been watching this other dude on YouTube. I just knocked the GoPro off my head. That's why I failed. Let's see we got, how we're going to do this one. So we got to pull it tight. Let's get it right there. I was about to say, I've been watching this other guy on YouTube lately that works for Maverick. Anybody know who that is? We trucking, man. We trucking, man. Hey, somebody, if anybody subscribed to truck, Trucking with Tay, tell, tell Tay I checked them out. We trucking, man. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Pump my damn trailer back up. Anybody know where I'm at? Doubt it. Some people might know. Some people might know. Cody. This place right here is called the Shop and Go. Shop and Go, Dunn, North Carolina. This is where I park my truck at. It's mom and pop. We got a little. What we got over here? There's there's a shop and go right there. There's a Swift driver. Come up, come back up here in the morning. You'll see a whole bunch of owner operators sitting out here. But, as of right now, we got me, a Swift, and a drop trailer. Perfect. 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 Hey, man. Hey, I, I want to give a shout out to the, the guy that, that hit me up on the live video feet. yesterday. Make a U-turn if possible and then turn left at 310 feet. Shut the fuck up. We ain't making no U-turn. Yeah, I give a shout out to the guy. I can't remember his name. That, that told me his, his kids like to watch my videos. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Hey, that really makes me feel special, stuff like that, man. Appreciate everybody that I'm chatting with about college football yesterday as well. Anyway, I'm about to go ahead and get out, do my post trip, check my tires, make sure I don't got a flat. Like that last time I, I talked about a post trip and woke up the next morning with a flat tire. It didn't get caught on the post trip. 
But I woke up with a flat tire somehow. Feet. Make a U turn if possible and then turn left at 310 feet. Still ain't making no damn U turn. Alright, man, flatbed gang, I'm out.